Education. Education. I believe that training is the least expensive investment you'll ever make with the highest long-term return. And what better if it's free? product manager and application support here on the Mitsubishi EDM products. It's quite a different event. Um, so it's not a, let's say, open house selling event. Um, it's a, a training and awareness event. We've got customers coming in. We've got non-customers coming in. I've got uh, open forums for questions. I've got no idea what existing customers are going to tell or ask for. Request in front of potential new customers. Always a little bit dangerous, but that's how confident we are in the technology. So. Actually, I'm not really that worried. It's going to be a good day. It's always great to obviously get awareness and new technologies, and we've got a lot, lot of new features that perhaps we want to share to our existing users as well. But now in the marketplace, and you'll see as the day goes on, we're doing quite a bit of education about EDM and Jeff. Doesn't matter what machine you're using, everything I'm going to be showing has some relevance. Yeah, and uh, what we find is when we're going out to customers. You know, they, they can run the machines, but they don't necessarily understand why and what it's it doing and these kind of things. And we want to just, if you've got that uh, built in foundation, it enables you to get far, far more out of the technology. So I've come with members of the team today. So we've got uh, two of the EDM operators from the Oz facility and then some of the Derby members as well, just seeing what there's new on the market, new technologies out there. I think the AI is really interesting for us going forwards, questioning whether that fits into us as a business, but also the deionization that we've just gone through was really interesting from us. That's mainly what we're talking about now, really, what we're going to look at to going forward. We're trying to figure out how we want to move forwards as a business and a unit in this area. So it's really about the suitability of where technology is going. What brings me to the event is trying to see some of the integrated technologies that are here within the actual corporation. Was, um, we got an invite to, because we've already purchased some machines, I wanted to look at some of the advanced in-depth um, seminar from what it could produce for us to maybe give us some advanced insight into how to use our machines more efficiently. I brought my workshop manager to help him give, give me an insight to what it's like to be an owner of a business and also when you're looking to purchase machinery, what it is that you're looking for is not, not just the initial purchase but the after sales purchase, plus the, the productivity support and everything else that goes with it. They've gone into some good depth and to, to reasonable sort of level of depth. Um, yes, we found it beneficial, okay, because it gives us a, an insight into the actual, um, the fundamentals of how the, the sparking technology works, you know, the real nitty gritty aspects of it. Some of the parts which are not, not always um, explained at the basic training, but certainly more and more of you use machines, the more advanced that you get, then that gives you a better insight as to how to get the most efficiency and productivity out of the machines. The main thing that I'm going to take away from this event and this um, seminar today is the, the really good part about the way that the gas bubbles break down in the um, spark erosion uh, sort of section so that they can force the debris out of the way to enable the sparker to be able to be a lot more productivity, a lot more able productivity wise and a lot more of them. Um, faster on the machining and, and, and that's one of the things I'm really going to find is going to be useful to put into advanced technology to make the system work more efficiently. I think this event is very good for um, getting a short impression of everything. So everything is very, every um, presentation was very focused and very uh, concentrated. So I think it's the best to have this overview because you never get it. In EDM, um, watch treatment is very important because you need to have very good parts with a good surface and clean surface and therefore water treatment is very essential. Yeah. The, con uh, the event is very important because the customers can ask particular questions. We are all here when they have problems, they, we, we can maybe it can be solved. Also, we know the feedback from the market and we know what, um, what is the problems of the customers, what are they want from us. A couple of years ago, our colleagues in Japan started to implement AI technology for EDM also, for EDM technologies. And um, it requires really, um, let's say, precise and high calculations. That's why it's impossible to make by themselves. So that's why they, they started to implement this AI tech uh, to use the order to find this uh, corner parameters and so on. EDM is a small market. It's a really small market and uh, it's more like a family market and we like to be close at the customer or closer to the customers. That's why such an event it, um, shows that the interest is coming from both sides. Scott, the day is over. How do you feel it's gone? Uh, 
often feel a little bit exhausted, generally exhausted, because the preparation you put into the, the, these kind of events. Uh, but I, I, I was quite surprised with the engagement with people afterwards, really, you know, asking questions, coming back, uh, you know, all, everything we were doing on the training side and trying to educate people about EDM process and the things that they generally wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily know about, you know. Um, and that, uh, that, 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 that for me is, uh, yeah, nice to hear because, yeah, you've put some work and effort into it and uh, yeah, it's been really, really good, really good. What type of questions were people asking you at the end? Uh, really, uh, uh, so uh, at one point, like we had the periodic table up. Everyone's initially when they first see that, then what, what the hell is that all about? Um, I wouldn't say they were asking questions. It was more, I never knew that. You know, that was that was great, fantastic. You know, th 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 those kind of things. Um, some things on improving the part geometry. Of course, we gave them a little snapshot of some of the technology and features, the uh, tools that are available on the machine. Maybe they didn't know were there, and then they come in to show us that. You know elaborate a little bit more so very good